Delicate negotiations drag on, but life in Gaza is at a standstill. Our children love to live, love to, uh, to be alive, to play with, uh, with each other. They cannot do, do anything of that. They, uh, they just want peace. The U.S. is accusing Hamas of unnecessarily prolonging the war. A deal Israel's accepted and Hamas could have answered with a single word. Yes. It's a blame game with no winners. If one side continues to change its demands, you have to question whether they're proceeding in, in good faith or not. Blinken says the key mediators will keep trying to bridge the gaps between the two sides. We are going to continue to push on an urgent basis with our partners, with Qatar, uh, with Egypt, to try to close this deal. Because we know it's in the interests of Israelis, Palestinians, the region. Peace is needed now. 16,000 children have died in the war and the World Health Organization says another 8,000 are at risk of malnutrition. A significant proportion of Gaza's population is now facing catastrophic hunger and famine-like conditions. Senior Hamas officials deny their proposed amendments are significant and say they're centred around issues like the complete withdrawal of Israeli troops from Gaza and establishing a timeline for a permanent end to the war. And while the US says Israel backs the plan that is on the table, Israel still hasn't said so publicly. In northern Israel, Hezbollah dropped a wave of rockets near the Lebanon border, a retaliation attack for an Israeli airstrike that killed a senior Hezbollah commander, threatening a dramatic escalation across the Middle East. Alison Horn, ABC News, Jerusalem.